Okay, so let's get right into it. I'm gonna show you step by step what you need to do. So the first thing you'll need to do is plug in the USB cable to the controller and you will need to use the cable wired in order for it to work with all the functions on the PC. And I also forgot to mention the rumble vibration will work with this method. So it's a really great method and it's absolutely free. So let me show you how to do it. All right, folks. So what you want to do is head over to the ds4windows.com website. You want to go to the download section and then find the DS4 Windows download, the Ryochan 7 DS4 version 2023. And specifically, you want to make sure that you download the version 3.2.9 or greater because the 3.29 version is where they added support for the DualSense Edge paddles in the back as well as function buttons to be able to configure them to assign them a button. So go ahead and click on the download button and it's a very small file. You can just click to open it. And then what you wanna do is head over to this ribbon here and select extract all. Okay, and you can download it wherever you like, but I do recommend you select the downloads folder that's already selected and hit extract. And then you will come across this DS4 Windows folder, double click in there. Okay, and then what you're gonna to wanna to do is go and find the DS4 Windows.exe file and double click it. When you get to this part where it says save where, you're gonna to wanna to select app data on the right. And now you see your DualSense Edge controller show up right here. Now, if you don't see it show up, it's probably because you selected program folder in the previous screen. So if that happens, you can just go back and delete the entire folder and then extract the zip file again, and then run that DS4 Windows executable again, and make sure you select app data on the right when it selects where to save to, because when I tried it with the program folder, it didn't work, it just wouldn't detect the controller. So now I'm gonna show you how to assign these paddles in the back to any button that you want, as well as these little function buttons or paddles, whatever you wanna call them. I'll show you how to assign those as well. So what you wanna do is head over to edit and you see the controller here and you see the controller here on the left side. Unfortunately, you're not gonna see the exact picture of the DualSense Edge controller, but if you scroll all the way down, you'll see that there's function left, function right, back left paddle, and back right paddle. All of those correspond to the paddles and buttons on your DualSense Edge controller. So I'm gonna go ahead and double click the bottom left paddle first. And here you can select whatever button you want to assign it to. Now I do wanna point out something. Let's close this. And if you go to the other tab over here, I do have it to emulate a controller for Xbox 360. That's because most PC games have the Xbox 360 controller layout when you're playing their games. You're not gonna see the PS4, PS5 buttons as you see them on your controller. So you wanna make sure that under the other tab, you have the emulated controller on Xbox 360. And now if you remember with this method, I told you that the rumble will work on the controller. So here you can set the rumble strength and so on. So that's great that that works. So let's go back over here on the left side and assign our left paddle to A, right paddle in the back to the B button. So usually for most games like Warzone, A is for jump and B is for slide. So great, you're done there if all you wanna do is configure the back paddles. But if you wanna configure the function buttons, which might be handy, then you wanna go and select function left and then set it to whatever you want to. For example, I'm gonna set it to X and then I'm gonna set function right to Y. And that's pretty much it, you guys. 